You may have wounded me, but this is nowhere near enough to bring me pause. After all we've done, it doesn't look like we're even phasing her. Netgear, use the sword! All right. That sword... This blade will put an end to your wicked scheme! The cursed blade? No, it is different. It's been infused with the power of friendship. We created this sword using Sherisite gathered from all four of our world's nations. We turned a cursed sword into a sword beaming with hope. Such blinding power. The power of shares. The power of will. Who is Will? Yeah. This weapon holds the wills of every man, woman, and child in Last Station. Don't forget about Louise, people. Their wills are totally there, too. Everyone believes in us. Heavens! I would be remiss to not mention the citizens of Leanbox during this discussion. And Planet Tune! Nep Junior, it's your show from now on. Go and beat her up for all of us! Are the shares collected from throughout game industry. The power of everyone's wills! I see. You found a way to contain all that power in one blade. Yes. And I'll do all I can to show you just what the people of our world want! To live! Insolence, I shall send you and the will of this world into the depths of oblivion! Lilac Mark III. Yeah, we get the idea. The enemy looks strong, but I'll try my best. All right, here we go then. Panzer blade. Nobody should seek bloodshed. Such power. Ah! Ah! Futile. Almost got her already. I, I'll do my best. Right, Panzer blade once again then. Yeah, Panzer blade. Nobody should seek bloodshed. Such power! This vessel is no more. We we did it! We won! We won! Destroyed her. Level up! I wonder yeah, 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 level up. We get the idea. Ahead. Let's get to the rest of the ending. The CPUs. Yet again. You did it! Nepgear, you rule! Stay on guard. We cannot call this battle won yet. Oh, my body. I will not allow myself to be destroyed. Now that's what I call persistence. I will drag you and all of game industry down into the darkness with me. Dad, the ground is caving in. This is crazy, Mew. Move my body. Am I going to die here? Don't give up, Nepgear. But that's okay. We stopped the deity of sin. My sister can handle the rest. Heck no, I can't. Huh? But, Neptune, you have to go. It's too dangerous to stay. No can do. I'm not leaving without my sister. But I really can't move. I'll just weigh you down. I'm not going to abandon you. Remember, I said that I'd never leave you alone again. Neptune. You Planetune girls are such a hassle, you know that? I have half a mind to give you two an earful. But such a lecture shall wait until we have all escaped safely. Come on, we're all leaving together. Everyone. Thanks, ladies. Come on, Nep Junior. We're going home. We're gonna check out the game industry that you saved. Okay. Three months have passed since that day. Three months? The game industry graveyard sank into the sea, and the deity of sin was completely destroyed. With her gone, the world's destruction was prevented, and things went back to normal. Ish. Peace had finally returned. And with it, 
everyone returned to the lives they were living before this whole disaster started. Please make a single file line. I'll bandage you up real good, but you have to follow the rules. Oh, oh man. I fell down and scraped my knee. Right here, see? Uh-huh. Aw, oh, you poor thing. That looks like it hurts. I'll clean it real good and patch it up, okie dokie. Hmm. <laughs> Kampa's gonna bandage me up. I'll never take it off. Never. Uh, so like, I'm feeling lightheaded or something. Uh-huh. Okay, let me feel your forehead. Hmm. It's not a fever, but you should get some sleep, all right? Kampa touched my face with her silky smooth hand. I'm never washing my face ever again. These people. Kampa, feel me up too! Well, at least he's direct and to the point. Get in line, dork. I was so here before you. Wow, so many patients today, too. Everyone must have been affected by the battle against ASIC, huh? But that's why Nurse Kampa is on the case. I'll make sure everyone is in tip-top shape. Just at, at least get something out of it, like charge them or something. Thanks for coming today, everyone. I hope to see you at my next concert. An admirable performance. You deserve praise. Thank you. But remember that this wouldn't even be possible if it weren't for the CPUs. Fame has not skewed your modesty. In that case, a modest girl would turn this offer you received down. Huh? What offer did I get now? Formal requests from Planetune, Lastation, and Louis to have you put on a game industry music tour. As part of this global effort, they have agreed to cease any and all conflicts during your tour. A... a global tour? A, a, are you serious? As I said, with your modesty, I assume you would turn down such an attention-grabbing offer. D don't joke with me like that! Of course I want to do my best and put on a show for everyone! I'm sad I don't get to hang out with everyone like before, but... But? Getting to hear the things they've been up to is a really nice compromise. Yeah, hello? What? Some idiot is selling R4 mods? Got it. I'm on my way. Jeez, I thought people would be over this crap by now. This is such a chore. What's the matter? You seem troubled. Hey, nice timing. Want to come along and uphold justice with me? If you put it that way, sure. I don't know what sort of job it is, but I'm happy to help. Don't just agree to it, then. Step right up, ladies and germs! A secret stash of R4 mods just for you! Buy them while you can! Oh, dear. Why are we still doing grunt work when the organization's gone? Because this way, we can start from scratch and build our own syndicate. Now quit whining and help me sell. But the devices are junk, too. They don't work since the deity of sin doesn't exist anymore. Nobody would admit to buying contraband anyway, so we just gotta sell them and split. Easy money. I was really hoping my knee-jerk instinct was wrong. But, of course, you idiots never let me down. What? Oh, crap. Would you stop stalking us already? I'd rather stalk a bear while slathering myself in honey. Uh, okay, that's an odd mental image. Oh, if only my beautiful angel of mercy, a lovely Kampa, came instead. It's a time of peace, so I'd rather not use force. But you need to be spanked by the flat end of my blade. Damn it, you dumb broads. You leave us no choice but to abandon our goods and run. Bye-bye. You got it, Choo. Hey, get back here. <sighs> we lost them. Says keep out. Quite, quite big there, so I'd, I'd suggest you keep out. I think we've maxed out our stats that let us run away, Choo. Damn. We can't sell our goods here, I guess. 
We better move on to a different nation. Idiots never learn you. What the? Who are you again? Underling, as one of my wifey candidates, you should really stop being such a naughty girl. You're still looking for wives or... Th that's not the point. Why me? Leave me out of it. La la la, can't hear you. Broccoli, let's catch her and turn her into a cute punk girl. Pain in the ass. Do it yourself, Mew. Oh, come on. You're one of my prized wifeys, too. So you're obligated to help me capture new wifeys. I don't really get it. But we can ditch these broads, right? I'm down, chip. Then what if I promise to grill you up a nice, juicy steak? Oh, really? Then I accept you. Sweet. OK, let's pounce in three, two, one. Huh? Underling ditched us, Mew. Typical underling. Sure, the world will always have its share of bad people, but the good will be there to stop them. Maybe. Maybe? The CPUs and CPU candidates have all returned to their respective nations as well. Uni found her resolve to make Last Station a more prosperous land than Planetune. Okay. These are ready to file. What? You already finished? Excellent. Such precision. Your work has been rather commendable as of late. Do you want my help, Noir? No. I can do this myself just fine. Still, I am impressed at how well you've adapted to your increased workload, Uni. You had such an inferiority complex before. But you now have something that you exceed Noir at. Well done. For some reason, it doesn't make me happy this is where I excel. Paperwork isn't that cool. But I'm not losing to you or anything. I'm just not in the mood for this boring type of work right now. Uh-huh. Oh, Noir? You filled that part out wrong. Nuh-uh, liar! Where? Here. Oh, and here. Oh, now I see. You skipped that line and now everything's off. You're kidding me! Oh! I have to do it all over! As for Miss Chica, she was elated to hear Vert was going to remain in Leanbox for the foreseeable future. Elated is probably an understatement. <sighs> I am unable to make a dent. Three years have made this into quite a formidable queue. My darling Vert, I've prepared some extra strong tea for you. Tea! Why, thank you. Could you place it over on the hutch for me? Of course. Mm hmm? Um, Chica, your lusty stare is making it difficult for me to focus on my important duties. But my dear sister, you've worked non-stop since returning. Would it kill you to spend some time with me? I wish for nothing more myself. But with this much work to do, surely you understand, do you not? Oh, I know! I just so happened to purchase every game release you missed these past three years. Well, only the top tier AAA titles that I'm sure we can best enjoy while sharing. A love seat. Such a tempting offer. Very well. You have hit me in my strike zone, but only for an hour, understood? An hour? That's no time at all. Yes! I'll set it all up right away. What a needy child. But I suppose it cannot be helped, what with my lengthy absence and all. Regardless, this pile of work seems endless. Oh, how I wish I also had a cute little sister. Uh-oh. Perhaps I will be able to barter one of Blonde's sisters away from her. When we said our farewells, Ron looked like she was about to cry. But I'm sure she'll be fine. I mean, she has Blonde and Ram to play with her, so... Nina, how can I help you, Blonde? Take a look at this doodle. Ah, oh, how precious. Did you draw this? Me, me! That was totally me! I'm pretty awesome at making funny faces now, huh? I colored it and stayed in the lines. Do you like it? This was a very important document to me. Um, Blonde, please try not to get too upset over this. I'm sure they wanted to make you happy, and... 
the drawing is well done. But next time, think about what you're scribbling all over. Yay! She praised us! Sort of. I'm so happy! Wow! I'm impressed to see you hold in your anger so well. For now, it's it's gonna blow at some point. It wasn't easy. I'm worn out. I need to rest for a while. By all means, relax and recuperate. Now then, where was that book I loved to read before falling asleep? Uh... Oh... Rom? Ram? What is this doodle? Uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, you found my masterpiece! Pretty sweet, huh? It took you long enough to find it. It took us all three years to draw on every single page. Oh no! You damn brats! Blonde, please calm yourself! <laughs> we totally pissed her off again! She's mad! I miss that too. Get back here, damn it! How dare you ruin my favorite book! I'm so sorry. It's all my fault for not mentoring them properly. This is getting ridiculous! I should barter one of you away to vert or something. Uh, uh, okay, I mean, she'd accept, so that's creepy. As for us... Um, well, we... Hmm... I don't know what to write. Oh, come in! Pardon me. I hope that I am not interrupting. No, not at all. I'm finished with my work for today. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Neptune. She did not happen to slip in here, did she? No, I haven't seen her. I see. Where in the world could she have gone off to this time? There is work to be done. It's not like she get pulled to another dimension or something stupid like that, is it? Um, I think she's probably in the same crawl space she always uses. I'll get her. <sighs> if only a little bit of Nepgear's work ethic rubbed off on Neptune. <sighs> Perhaps Nepgear is the one being spoiled after all. Neptune, are you in here? This is a crawl space? Jeez, I'm crow! It's the fuzz! Nice job finding me, Neptunior. Eastwar was looking for you. You really should do your work. Aw, stop lecturing your elders. Work is like a dance, and I was totally not in the groove. That's what you always say. Besides, you get my work done way faster and tons better than if I did it myself. So I figured you could, you know, keep cruising down the highway of life like that for a while. No. Bad, Neptune. We have to work together if we want to make a difference in the world. Man, you're so boring sometimes. In fact, I'm promoting you to slave driver. First class. First class? To think that just three years ago, you were hiding behind me, holding onto my skirt for dear life. I turned into a really cool adult while you were gone, Neptune. You're going to have to deal with it. I guess. <gasps> this must be how a dad must feel. Happy and sad to see his daughter grow up to be super cute. But I still need you, Neptune. It's still scary to do things on my own. Huh? C could you say that again? Maybe in a more sexy whisper. Why? No! Forget I said anything. But, um, Neptune? Yes, um, Neptunior? We're going to be together forever, aren't we? Forever. Of course! Even if I wear out my welcome, I'm still going to be here, driving you crazy. Again, it's not like she's just going to be pulled to another dimension or anything stupid like that. You promise? Cross my boobs and hope to cry. That was a silly question, you know. Okay, thanks. So let's get back and do our work. Oh, let's chill and play. You came all this way, right? It'd be a waste to work now. Oh, no, you don't. You won't trick me with that tactic, Neptune. East War is really upset, so let's go. Blah. You're way too good at the negotiating thing these days. Hey, wait up, Neptunior. There's no talking over the picture? <laughs>